Let's face it, no matter how great your website is, sometimes it's really hard to find answers. If you're a lawn care landscaping or tree service company, people have hundreds of questions that they would probably like to ask you before they reach out for a quote. What they have to do now is they have to jump through hoops and go through all these different website pages, look at blog articles, all the things that you've created to get their answers. But what if there was an easier way? Today, I'm gonna to talk to you about something I've been working on, which is an AI agent on the website in a chat bubble. Now, I know what you're gonna think, chat sucks, people don't wanna use it, but that's because it's kind of dumb right now. But with ChatGPT in the background, it's gonna give really, really great answers. All right, so let me show you this thing in action. This is the first place we've deployed this actually on the Landscape Leadership website. So if you wanna try it out, go to landscapeleadership.com and interact with, with the uh, AI chat agent. Now, for this example, our ideal client is people like you. Uh, they own lawn care, landscaping, and tree service companies. They're not homeowners and property managers, but I think you'll get the uh, how you could use it for your business as we go through this demonstration. So the first thing I can do is I can figure, you know, what's the color of that chat bubble in the bottom left, and what are the messages that I want to have displaying when people come to the website. Now, I wanted to be transparent. I want people to know that this is an AI agent, but I also want them to know that a real person trained it with answers. And so you can see those messages that I configured uh, down there in the bottom corner. Now, when I pop this thing open, what you're gonna do is you're gonna see a prior conversation. Uh, I've been playing around with this thing, so you're gonna see pieces of my prior conversation popping up there. If this is a new user come to your website, they're not gonna have anything there. And if they are a returning visitor, they're gonna see where they left off the last time. It's pretty cool. So what I'm gonna do here is I wanna hop in, let's create a scenario. Let's say I am a pest control company. That is one of the companies or some of the lawn companies we work with will offer pest control and that sort of thing. And I have some questions. Uh, the first thing we'll ask it is, uh, do you work with pest control companies? So that seems like a logical question. So if you hit the chat bubble, it opens up, ignore my prior message there, say, do you work with pest control companies? enter and you'll say yes uh, we do work with pest control companies we have experience working with them to both do outdoor services such as perimeter pest control mosquito control flea and tick control as well as full-blown pest control services that include interior treatments and you can also see that um, in this answer there's a link provided to our client page where you can see our client roster okay um, what about another question? And before I go on there, you'll see there is a contact form. That's an option um, that we have here too, that if someone wants to reach out, they can give their first, last name and email, and then maybe we can email them, set up a meeting, talk to them. Um, in your case, it would be like setting up a consultation at their property or calling them with pricing or whatever it might be. So let's say here, let's say, um, how much money should I be spending on marketing? realistic question. It's one we get a lot. And it'll say, ah, the question of the budget. And it goes into that. It talks about is the rule of thumb of that experts suggest. Um, this is other factors to consider. And, you know, if you want to reach out to us, you can do that. Again, it's prompting, wanting the name, and email. Um, if we want to include phone number, we could do that there. But we usually reach out over the email first. And that's a pretty great answer. Okay. All right, so how is it getting this information? Like, how is it answering the questions? Well, let me show you. So here's some of the things that are going on in the back end. So when I set this up, what I did first was I wanted to give it information. Like, it needs to know how it's going to answer these questions because I'm not going to just leave it up to chat GPT to give answers about my company and about how we perform services and about my clients. So you have to train the AI model. And it's really easy to do that. So there is a number of ways we can do this. You can see there's some frequently asked questions here. We can put the name, uh, the question, and also um, an answer. In some cases, I actually have articles on certain topics that we've actually written, or there's pages on the website that I want to direct them to. Um, by the way, if um, a user is in that chat window and they click one of those links and they go to the other page, they can do that. And when they open up that chat bubble, it's the conversation is there. They can continue to ask more and more questions. Um, so these are the questions um, and you can see I've written the answers that I want to give. I've tried to think of about like 50 uh, frequently asked questions that I typically get. And the other thing you can do is um, train this on a knowledge base. So we have written 
a lot of articles for landscapeleadership.com. And we do this for our clients, whether they're lawn care, landscaping, tree service, pest control. And we write a lot of topical articles, like how much does lawn care cost? Or um, do I need to apply lime on my yard? Or um, how do I hire the best tree service? You name it, whatever the, the article is, there's a lot of information there. And so I actually um, added our website to this knowledge base and it crawled the website. And you can see here all the pages that it's indexing, all these articles that we've written in the past. So again, this, this begs the argument, like why you need to create a lot of really great content on your website so you can answer the questions how you wanna have them answered to your prospective clients. And you can add additional uh, links there, other websites, I don't know, maybe you'll have things that you wanna include there as well. And if there are other questions and answers that come up as time goes, you can add that to the knowledge base. If there are documents, there's a place where you can upload files as well. So maybe you have maybe some brand voice guidelines, uh, you have, um, I don't know, pricing charts, you have uh, documents, I don't know, all kinds of fact sheets and things that you wanna provide, you can just upload those there and the AI agent will look at those. Now, what's going on in these conversations? What if it gives a bad answer? Uh, what if I don't like the answer? It's not perfect. I wanna add something to it. What do you do then? Watch this. Now on this dashboard, it will log every single conversation that uh, the AI agent is having. So if it gives an answer, you'll see here, like each time it goes to a different page, you'll see like that conversation starting the questions as well. And it'll talk about how much are you spending on marketing? Um, whatever the question and answer is, you do have the opportunity to revise that answer. So if you pop that open, you could copy and paste all of this stuff here, um, give a more concise answer, maybe add more information, add a link to a blog, blog article that you've created, or you know a page on the website, um, have a subtle call to action, tell them maybe they could reach out for a consultation or whatever you wanna do. So that allows you to revi refine this as time goes and also, get the questions that you didn't think of, which is really um, helpful as well. So what do you think? Is this gonna be the wave of the future? Are consumers gonna expect these types of experiences when they come to websites? This could really help your lawn care landscaping or a tree service company. Imagine having an AI agent that actually is smart, that can give answers exactly how you would wanna give them at no matter what time of day or if a person isn't yet ready to reach out to you for a quote. Imagine how valuable it will be to you, but also to them. So keep following me. I'll be posting updates and sharing other examples as we deploy this on some clients' websites. And if you want to try it out, click in the um, comments below. I'm going to have a link to our website where you can test it out. Maybe you'll even give me some uh, FAQs that I haven't even thought of. Thanks a lot. Have a really great day.